ba, 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 ba. What's good? What's good? Ah, oh, y'all know I had to get out here and get some of this natural vitamin D. I'm doing my little stroll on. I got my water with me, so if I start talking, I won't be, won't be foaming at the mouth and get dry mouth on y'all once I get into this particular topic. Um, happy Sunday to everybody, wherever you are. I hope the weather is, is as nice as it is today. And, and, uh, and there's a breeze out here that helps out a lot. So, uh, it's your man Rico. Rico the Opinionist. You know my YouTube channel, Rico the Opinionist. I'm up to, um, what's up, Yusef? I'm up to 391 subscribers now. Isn't that something? So I want to thank you, those of you, uh, those of you who've subscribed. I get me closer and closer to the 500 mark. Then after that, it's the 1,000 mark. Then after that, the 1,500 mark. So, hey, I don't mind. They say getting it from the mud. That means I'm, uh, I'm getting it straight from my hard work. For my thoughts, I mean, if you subscribe, you really are into what I'm talking about or you like the way I deliver it. Cool. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Because uh, I'm on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and I have a Rico the Opinionist Facebook group. I know my, I know this camera is all up in my face a lot of times. So I'm, I'll try to keep it far back so y'all can see my HBCU. I'm always repping HBCU on some levels here and there. This is just one of my favorite shirts. I've had this shirt a few years, this shirt a few years now. But anyway, y'all. Uh, check out the description box and all that. You know, there's always some goodies up in there, including my uh, my 50-page short story. It's in a PDF format, so it's entitled uh, or it's titled "The Greatest Pain Ever Felt: Conversation with Absent Biological Father Who Never Wanted to Be Found." Uh, it's only ten dollars. You can hit your boy on that PayPal Cash App. I get the Cash Apps quicker than the PayPal. I rarely check that, but either way, it's fine. But whatever you do, please. Please send me an email address so I can email you your copy right away. Or, you know, by Sunday, and it might be a Sunday sermon to you. Put something in the collection plate. Put your boy on that, that cash out, Rico the Opinion is, that PayPal, Rico the Opinion is most appreciated ahead of time. All right, so there's a couple of things I'm going to talk about, but let me go ahead and get this one out of the way. It's seems to be the hottest topic going around right now. And uh, y'all know I have to wait a minute before I think, before I comment on a lot of stuff. I have to, you know, do my research. I have to process it first. I just don't come out and start blabbing out stuff. You know how people do those knee-jerk reactions to everything that's shown to them on TV or in social media? I don't work like that. I want to make sure I give y'all my most honest and most researched opinion right so uh the latest thing that see, see the stuff that let me say this the stuff that we need to be talking about they don't they don't push that that doesn't go viral i'm gonna see when i get done with this video i'm gonna share with y'all something that has not gone viral a few outlets have it uh but not the mainstream outlets where everybody's heading, is not giving an opinion on this topic hold on let me go across the street all right, hold on one second. All right, Carl, you're gonna let me go across. Hold on, wait a minute. Uh. So, I try to help the traffic. I'm not one of those assholes that try to like take his to her time, just take his time, because I know you got to stop. No, I'll meet you halfway. I'll do that little trot, that little skip and step. Because one thing I can't compete with in this human body, that is a three-ton car. So I don't play those, I don't play those games with my life and my body. All right, so, uh, all right, uh, <laughs> there's the, y'all know, uh, if you've been living under a rock in the last couple of days, country singer, and he's pretty popular, Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean, who's, might be considered one of the rebels of country music. He put out a, who's this right here? Jamal, what's up? He, uh. He put out a song the other day and it's gotten up to 15.9 million views on YouTube and climbing. Because the more we hear about it, the more we wanna 
check out the song. And I want to encourage everybody who's black to watch the video. Don't give, don't listen to the, the Democrats tell y'all about the video. Don't let anybody else give y'all their summation about the video. Do what I did and what other people have done. Go and watch the video. It's called, I, I, you won't try that in a small town. And uh, the title alone will just cause you, it will provoke thought based on the title alone, right? So it came by me. I'm listening. I mean, I've seen snippets of it by watching other people's reaction to it. And uh, the only reaction that I really, that I really take to heart is my reaction. But, uh, but I did. I listened to a lot of other people give their, their summation on it. And, of course, your favorite black talking points. Uh, 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 talking heads, if you will. You know, Democrat. It's racist. It's racist. It's talking about black people. It's talking about black people. It even used to, you know, talk about small towns. Well, <clears throat> we have a history of uh, not not surviving in these small towns, these sundown towns. You know, you go go down the list. And so, uh, some people even put up a, me a meme. They brought up a uh, Ahmaud Aubrey jogging in a small town and. Oh yeah, it, it goes down, and uh, and, I, and hell, it was. Y'all remember that black lady was hanging around all the white folks, and the only black chick in the picture that was supposed to have a pajama party, and somehow before that weekend was up, she was found beaten, raped, and murdered and dead in a small town. James Bird, that's been brought up. James Bird being dragged through Mississippi over to Texas. James Bird got dragged behind a truck, and and uh. And you go down the list of uh, black folks, even in, go to the turn of the century, in the small towns, their small town attitude. I'm from, uh, where Jason Aldean is from, I'm from the state of tech, Tennessee. And, he, and I think he credits himself being over there, up there in East Tennessee, in Columbia, Tennessee. And that is small town, that's Hickville, that's all around, not too far from, uh, uh, Knoxville and all that stuff. Uh, it's another Atoka. No, not Atoka, but what's that? It got other little small towns around the area. Tennessee and Texas has you no know, a lot of small towns. As if you had asked me what one of my pet peeves about this state, they have too many small towns because it makes way for that small town mentality, right? Oh yeah, so we're not in disagreement about the history of small towns. But also, a lot of us have driven through small towns across the country, you know, to get gas and uh, to get some food. And a lot of times, the country folks are pretty nice. Anything else you want? Uh, can I help you, darling? Uh, anything else you want? And a lot of them are pretty nice. At, the, at least at the at the Bucky's and at the little uh, the uh, Pilots and what else? These little country town stores they got. Mainly pilots and uh, Bucky's, uh, but that's not to erase like the history of the behavior of small towns. Um, but based on what Jason Aldean is talking about, I watched the video and I studied it, and I compared it to what people were saying. You know, you can come up with your own narratives about whatever it is. Some people come up with their own narratives about what I say in my videos. So I, I understand re that reality. So that's why I check stuff out for myself. And I watched the video. One of the complaints that people were saying that in the video, it's talking about black people. They showing images of black people. Well, I watched the video. I think I saw black the image of a black people, black person breaking a window or holding a gun on somebody maybe twice. The rest of it was a lot of those liberal white folks, liberal snowflakes, uh, crashing windows, throwing bricks at police cars, uh, confronting police. You know, not most of these what he's talking about is in riot situations. And uh, and what I need for us to do is not not to let the liberal left, and I don't want to make it political, but they seem to be the main ones who always try to tell black people what racism is. We got enough on our plate. You don't think we are? We don't know what fuck racism is, white liberals and white homosexuals? You don't think we know? We live it. But a lot of us, we just kind of move on. We still make a living. We still make dreams come true. We still make things happen. 
You know, and we understand about systematic racism. Anybody who doesn't believe that's a real thing and it's black, you're stupid. Damn, you, because you had sex with a white girl, you got a Hispanic white husband or whatever. You think racism is not over because your sexual, because of your sexual preference. I mean, how you, uh, who you get in the bed with, marry. No, that doesn't end racism. No, but I will say this to all these uh, other folks and all these you no know, liberal white folks and and these democratic blacks. Y'all want to yell racism? That's racist. He talked about that and that died. You know, I would love for all y'all to come together and join the rest of us and publicly and systematically demanding reparations for 300 years of, uh, of slavery, of free labor, of rape, sodomy, and 100 more years of discrimination, trauma, and uh, towns being blown up and drowned underwater to create these parks and lakes, you know, I would love for all of y'all who are banding together to say, this video is racist. I, okay, you can have your opinion. But I would love for you to join the rest of us <clears throat> in demanding systematically, especially those of you who love Joe Biden, in demanding reparations. $17.4 trillion. That would be great, because you seem to get your voice around when you want to call out something racist in a goddamn video. So how come we can't get y'all to join in on demanding as a group, as a complete group, reparations? I want to make two points. First, I want to say to Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean, uh, I saw the footage uh, in your video. I saw the images. And the images that you were talking about mainly was due to a lot of protests due to uh, an injustice that had occurred. And you're saying don't try this in a proud town, in a small town. Well, Jason Aldean, if y'all don't lynch, if y'all don't murder somebody, if the police don't murder anybody, uh, what else? If you don't lynch anybody. If you don't murder anybody just because you're wearing a badge, you don't have to worry about no, no riot or anything jumping off in your small town. You ever thought about that, Jason Aldean? I get the message. I get the sentiment. But you're showing images of people reacting to an injustice that has, that has occurred, Jason Aldean. And some people accuse you of gaslighting. Some people accuse you of racial dog whistling. It could be that. Because small town folks do have a different mindset. You know, they can be some good hearted people. And if you're black and you live in some small town, they'll take care of you. Y'all take care of each other. That is true. But uh, in this climate, Jason Aldean, you knew exactly what you were doing. You're not being very clear. You know, small town country white folks and white folks in general, even liberal whites, love to wave the American flag. As if all of us are supposed to be on the same page with you in that American flag. Well, we can't. We won't ever be on the same page with you, Jason Aldean. And you're talking about burning the American flag. Well, Jason Aldean, you ever thought about burning the bodies that were hung in the South? You worried about a damn flag when actual bodies were burned as they were hanging, Jason Aldean? You know, y'all say a whole lot of weird shit, but you don't ever put any context or historical context with it. But I agree with your sentiment. I'm gonna meet you halfway, Jason Aldean. I agree with your sentiment. And this is why I think black people can come in on. You know, you're saying, don't play all that, we're not playing all that foolishness in our small town. And I agree. I just wished a lot of black people had that same attitude when it came to their neighborhoods. You know, when it, it relates to the gang members and the, and the drug dealers. They would tell, would tell them that. Tell them, let, let them know. Like you said, your granddaddy gave you a gun. Well, I wish a lot of blacks would do the same thing. Let these gang members know, these drug dealers, and everybody who's committing crimes in our neighborhoods, let them know. You can't try that in my neighborhood. And so, I can, I can go with you on that. How y'all doing? All right, thanks. So I can go with you on that. Yeah, they selling water out here. I got you. I got, I'm with you on some things, uh, James Aldean. I mean, sorry, Jason Aldean. 
And, uh, and by the way, y'all, Jason Aldean is not a newcomer to country music. He's really some, somewhat of a, a legend almost in, in country music. And I like country music. I do. And what Jason Aldean has just done is not going to make me not like country music. Country music is like a derivative of blues and uh, R&B. They're telling the story. You know, just R&B has just kind of gotten off its original mission <laughs> of storytelling or coming from the heart and the soul. So country music has had to fill that void. And I like a lot of country artists. Loretta Lynn. I mean, I go old school. Um, Dolly Parton. George Strait. I go old school. Randy Travis. Uh, the Judds. Johnny Cash back in the day. I like old school. Patsy Cline. I like all the old school stuff and the new stuff. You know. So I, I like particular artists Conway Twitty I can go and go on and on I'm 54 so I've listened to quite a bit of music and I like country music and Jason Aldean is not by himself and thinking like this so Jason you know if you're gonna do songs like this just put it in a proper context but I'm gonna go a little further and I'm gonna help you I understand what you're saying you said we take care of folks out here and that's how every, every neighborhood every community should be I've been fighting for decades to get black people to realize it's okay to take care of your own. Because Jason Aldean said, we take care of our own in these small towns. And y'all know if y'all in Tennessee or Texas, Georgia, hell, up in New York, these small towns are majority white folks. And they have a certain way in which they do things. We've had a small town show that was on the air for seven seasons called Dukes of Hazard, Hazard County. And they did things a certain way in Hazard County. We had a small town show that was on the air, another show that was on the air for seven seasons. It was called In the Heat of the Night, starring Howard Rollins and Carol O'Connor. They did things a certain way in a small town. So I get it, Jason Aldean. I just wish black folks will understand, black Americans will understand what you're saying about the people who you say we take care of our own. Now, you, now I'm going to take it that you could possibly mean to everybody who lives in your small town of Columbia, Tennessee. Uh, and, I, and I think if I were to travel to Columbia, Tennessee, I maybe see, uh, I might see five, if it's four black folks in Columbia, Tennessee. Everybody else is in Nashville, somewhere around there. You got a few in Knoxville. Lala, uh, I think Atoka, uh, something like that. Uh, what's that little area, some little other little towns? You know, they probably have more black folks in Chattanooga. You know, that's... I, I think it's risen up from small town status. But uh, also, Jason, uh, you know, I get it. I get it. I just need these, uh, these little black conservatives to stop saying stupid shit about, you know, everything's not about race. It is. The United States Constitution to all you black conservatives that won't to try to separate yourselves from the issue and a topic or even identification of race. Well, see, that's what y'all feel y'all need to do in order to be accepted by the Republican right, conservative. Y'all have to completely whitewash yourselves away from your reality as a black person so you can fit in. No, we're Americans. We're not African Americans. We're Americans. We're all here. No, we all, our, our soldiers died for the blood and sweat and tears. No, no, they didn't. For all people know, if you did the history of the Negro regiment in the Air Force, Negro regiment in the Army, Negro regiment in the Navy during World War II. Yeah, you know, they sat up, they, they allowed the white Germans and Russians who they captured on the ship to eat with the American white soldiers while the blacks were still ate in the bottom of the bow. So no, they didn't fight for everybody. It was fight for white supremacy. So I just need you, you black conservatives to read some kind of history around here before y'all get to yelling this shit. Everything's not about race. It is. The United States Constitution made it plain. They made it, made it about race, especially for white men. And white women got it. You know, they just they're up in there because they get that they're the women of white men. And so they're both equal in that. You know, so but you, you black so busy trying to assimilate and be a part of the, I guess, the American vision or American dream. You sound stupid. You look stupid because you find yourself leaving who you are at the front door so you can walk into that burning house. Shout out to Martin Luther King towards the end of his life. So y'all watch the video.
And this some, a lot of guy has a lot of good points. So I just want to put things in context. The images that he showed, Jason Aldean showed, were images of people reacting to an injustice that has occurred. And so again, Jason Aldean, as long as there's no murder of anybody black or any other group in Colombia, as long as there's no lynching, you know, or no murder by, by cops, you have to worry about no damn riots in, in your small town. Got it? Just make sure you put it in context. Okay? So you can sing about what you want to sing about. America the free. Freedom of speech. You know, so, because I don't know about it. I don't know about too many riots that comes from, let's see, Dallas to end up in in a small town outside of Fort Worth. I've never never heard of that, uh, Jason Aldean. And I've never heard of a riot spilling out of out of uh, Nashville, ending up in Columbia, Tennessee, Jason Aldean. So I don't know what you're talking about. But you're just saying, don't try that in a small town. Well, again, Jason, don't y'all pull a caper in a small town. You have to worry about that. You know, we're trying to get the big cities to stop with the foolishness so they won't have these riots. I know people disagree with it, but that sometimes, you know, riots and destruction of property is people's reaction to their pain. We got a whole system that try to pretend that nothing happens. Well, how do you think the people are supposed to act? Now, y'all are lucky. I want to say this. You're lucky that people going in tearing up shit because they just flat out say, you know what, we're not going to tear up anything. We're going to get our weapons and let that do the talking. We're going to go straight to all of the systems that are against us. Then you'll have a problem on your hands. Because the little riots, all they do is, is uh, creates a little inconvenience. But motherfuckers start shooting these pistols and throwing grenades at, at everybody. Then, Jason Aldean, that'll be a problem. No, no, on the other end of that, again, I want black people to get the sentiment. Hell, yeah. don't let it happen in your small town. You know, y'all y'all see people being, y'all see dudes uh, breaking in stores and that. Y'all y'all stop them. Don't videotape. Y'all see guys getting jumped on or being robbed. No, don't stand around. So I understand what you're talking about in the small town. I'm not going to let that happen here. I get it. You should protect your own. Protect yourselves. Because you know, too much stuff just goes, uh, goes by and unaccounted for. Or uh, there's a lack of accountability of people getting involved in things that they really should get involved in. You know. But anyway, um, I think that's my take. If I made any sense, that's my take on the video. I want to encourage everybody black to go and watch the video if you've been given information. What are you talking about? Uh, dog whistling. Um, no, the white racists, they want to compare everything to Trump, of course. Like Joe Biden, they never told you if you ain't black, you don't, if you don't know to vote for me, you ain't black. I don't care how they got in the situation when he, you know, with the 94 crime bill. They can get treatment when they're in prison. But he didn't never say that ever when white folks was hooked up on meth and fentanyl. He didn't say, I don't care how they got in the situation. They, they all, they'll get treatment when they're in prison. And then you got a son that's snorting more cocaine. Naked pictures every goddamn well, allegedly. You know, but nobody, nobody's talking about that. And that's the problem I have with these, these folks who are so quick to point out racism, except when it comes to Joe Biden and his family. I just find that to be amazing. I, to stand there and watch this is just, it's just amazing. Y'all can point out, you, you black liberals, you black Democrats, you, you white liberals, y'all can show point out racism if y'all think it's and try to make it be connected to Trump. Like he's the only white man that's ever been created. Like he's the only white man that's ever been president that wasn't allegedly racist. We've had 46 of them, 45 of them, white presidents, but he's the only one that's been racist? Get out of here. That's why I can't take through people seriously. I cannot take black liberals and white liberals seriously, and I won't. They haven't given me any reason to take them seriously. And as black people, we have to grow and rise above that group of black folks and that group of white folks. What you say, Rico? You mean like go to the Republican Party? I said, no. We should have your own stuff as black folks. You don't need anybody telling us what racism is. We live it every goddamn day. And what we need to do is stop being sent out like dumbasses and concentrate on things that we see right before our eyes. We see the failing, failing schools. We see these boys un unfathered, out of control. These girls unfathered. 
and out of control. This the stuff we got going on right before us. Nobody cares about no goddamn country music video. It's really telling everybody, not only dog whistling, allegedly, dog whistling white folk to take up arms and to dare them to come in their town, but also it should be giving us the message, telling us the message that people like me and the scholars 100 years before me and even contemporary and, and even most recently, you got Dr. Claude Anderson, even to his credit, Dr. Umar Johnson and others telling you, do for self. Mr. Farrakhan is 90 years old now. He's still trying to tell you, do for self. And that's what Jason Aldean is telling everybody. If you're paying attention to the song, do for yourself. Take care of yourself. And so stop trying to make it. Because they don't, these black Democrats, these white Democrats, these gay Democrats, they don't give a shit about the Negro population. All they want from you is your vote with no tangibles. And I'm going to talk more about that in the next video I'm about to do. It's ridiculous how we just get sent out. You got these Roland Martins and all these other Negro liberals and Terry, what's that, Joy Reeds and all these people talking about, well, you know, yeah, the Maude Aubrey and... I'm not saying she said this. I haven't even seen a report on her, but I just know that she's going to fall in line with the rest of them. You know, we're trying to make it a battle cry for black folks for the elections of next year. Don't let them make a fool out of y'all. Make the battle cry for next year as tangibles from these damn Democrats. Y'all keep voting for them. Make it tangible. What, are we going to get reparations? Can we get $500 million infused to our, in our neighborhoods for empowerment and health care centers and... Uh, uh, grocery stores. Can we get some of that? Can we get some some money for black boys to be uh, to be enriched and us uh, and uh, be empowered to go to college and technical schools and community colleges? Can we can we get some money? God damn it! The way you give to every other group: gays, Asians, immigrant, other immigrants, Hispanic. Everybody gets some money except for black folks. And when we dare make our demand, all of a sudden, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Uh, we're a people. We're resilient people. Ah, uh, that's all. Oh, so nobody else is resilient. No one else has to pick up, pick themselves up by their bootstraps, and they give them the same tax dollars that we pay. So, I, so if y'all haven't gathered by now, I'm not bothered by that Jason Aldean video. I watched it because it's such a hot topic, and I knew just like when I looked at it, I said, okay, I understand the images. Even people lying about the images. They showing black people in and all. They showing a lot of white folks in there defying the police, tearing up property, rioting. Then they showed a couple of black dudes running their dumb asses in, in uh, liquor stores and corner stores, robbing people. I understand that part. Cause we got the same shit that happened in our, my hometown right now. And they need to be told, try that in my neighborhood. Try that shit where I live. And that's how we need to be against criminals of all racial backgrounds. Or you live in an area that's mainly black, you need to be telling the criminals there. Uh, not in my neighborhood. So Jason Aldean, I ain't mad at you. I just want to make sure they got some clarity here. Because people are just upset and trying to make comparisons to uh, whatever racial issues is going on in America against black folks. Look, that's, that's just how we live. That's just America as it relates to black folks. So say at the United States Constitution. Anybody else to try to tell you differently is just trying to get something from you like your vote or or some out your purse or your wallet. But I'm here to tell you the truth. It's your man Rico the opinions. If I left anything off, I'll come back and do a number two. If I if you think I left something out, let me hear it in the comments. Go off in the comments. I want to hear it. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.